Hi, welcome back to another of Dave's MySQL Basics. In this episode, we're going to look at joining tables. What does that mean? Well, when you normalize your data or you put the various pieces where they logically fit, uh, you might have something like a customer table with all the information about a customer, and then a orders table from those customers where you access the various orders by the ID number assigned to a customer. Well, in this case, we're going to look at using the world database. And as you see here, I've already logged in as root on the local machine and set my default database to world. I'm in SQL mode. And if I type in show tables, you'll see that there are three tables in this database, city, country, and country language. And these tables have been set up in a certain way so that they have a key that ties all of them together. And we'll look at that with MySQL Workbench. Here we're going to use MySQL Workbench, another free tool for MySQL, to take a look at the relationship between the three tables in the country database. You know, so we have the city table, the country table, and the country language table. Now what's real interesting is when this data was normalized, they decided to tie these three tables together with one key. Now for city table, the key is the column country code, which is a car three. In country, that same linkage is called code column, and it's also a car three. And for country language, we notice that it's all tied together with country code. So in city and country language tables, the common key with the country table is the code column. So let's look at that country table. I can type in describe or show create. Oops, gotta get my focus back. Show create table country. And if you look up here, there's our code field. And we can select data. Select star from country where well, actually, let me turn that sideways with backslash capital G. So this goes out and gets all information, and we know that the code is GBR for United Kingdom. Now, if we want to find information that links GBR to a city, we can do select star from city. However, in the city table, it's not called code, it's called country code, where country code equals GBR. Let's just put a limit of five on there. So we're able to chain between these two tables using that common column. Now joining is a very easy way to get both sets of data in a way that's very useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to select from the city table And I'm going to alias it as uh, select city dot name. We're going to alias that. That's what this as is. As city, and then country dot name. Now we're pulling the city data from the table city. Now we're going to join that, or follow down our, our path. Join country on where the city dot country code is equal to the country columns code field, and let's limit this to five again. Now, in this case, I did not specify. GBR. Let's go back and do that. 
and we can specify either country.code or city.country code. Oh, there we go. I put an extra space. So I'm going to select city.name as city, country.name as name. From city, we're going to join country on the two code columns where country code equals GBR. So we go out and I, we get our information. So we've been able to chain these two tables together with that join command where city.country code equals country.code. 